What's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours through, of course, the Skyrender. And today we're going up against Frisky Disc, and this is a guy I've been battling before. He is really, really good in OU, and a very tough player in general. And yeah, looking to his team here, we got a very, very standardized OU team, with a few nifty pokes besides that have been off of Wobbuffet. We got Lantern C, Talonflame, Paragon 2, Wobbuffet, Mega Altaria, and Breloom. So, yeah, quite crafty, quite crafty, and of course, I was really scared of Paragon 2 because I realized I don't have knockoff on my team. That's bad. <laughs> and I myself as Keldio, Raiko, I was gonna say Raichu, Raiko, uh, Tornadus, T? Yes. Um, Hoopa, the Unbound form, Bulky Garchomp, and the Mega Sister Sweeper base with Swall Stance. And yeah, nothing too special here going in. I was gonna start with Keldeo because I was predicting he was gonna start with Lando, basically just to scout him if he's scarfed or not, because Lando can't at least hurt me, and um, I get a free Skull off, which is really great, and hopefully I can actually force Wobbuffet into that matchup, because I, is, I'm a substitute Keldeo, so that would actually be really nice. But yeah, that was my main idea, besides that, I really have no idea what I'm gonna do, Paragon 2 is gonna be an issue, and I knew that going in. And uh, my opponent here is going to showcase why that's a big deal. <laughs> so, <laughs> with all of this in mind, guys, let's go. So, right, from the start here, I was actually doing something really bad, and I mean that. He's going to start with Breloom, which I thought was kind of scary. And I sort of would kill you, like I said there. I decided to go for a substitute. Because, honestly, there's a chance that he's gonna go for a Spore, and that's nice. And that means I can live two Bullet Seeds if he's gonna pull that off. So hopefully, he only gets two. So I'm just gonna go for Secret Sword. Pretty much forcing him down to roughly 50%. I mean, I'm not fully invested in Special Attack, so it took that really well. And here, of course, comes the Bullet Seed. And one is gonna be taken, they're gonna break the sub. That's is to be expected. I'm going to survive the second one. But he gets a third one. Yeah. So I lost my Keldeo there, and that's bad, and that's bad for many reasons. Reason number one is, I have nothing for Paragon. Reason number two, I can't step up against uh, Wobbuffet, so this actually got kinda scary. Because I do recognize here that shit is gonna hit the fan, and he's gonna of course bring the Paragon, I can't do anything against that, I'm just going to escape into a little ball and send out Hoopa, the unbound form. Hoping it can do some damage. Yeah, I'm hoping. You know, I'm, I'm praying in every fashion I can. And I'm just gonna go straight at it for Drain Punch because I wanna see how much that do. And it does, well, not enough. It is not enough, people. And what the worst part is, is that I can't really kill him. Um, of course, he's not gonna risk here another Drain Punch since it could potentially kill him. So I went for. Um, oh, what do you call that move? Uh, the hyperspace move. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Hyperspace hole? Fury. Hyperspace fury. And that does a good chunk for being um, reduced damage there, of course, with Intimidate of 30%. But I can't have speed landers, and you know, he's just gonna U turn on me. And I did not go for my Rocky Helmet uh, Guard Chomp. I had that in mind, but I misclicked to Tornadoes, and I'm giving him momentum. I actually give him a chance to go back to the Paragon. No. So, this was really bad because I whittled down the Paragon. That was fine. I was fine here until I did this play because this is basically giving him an honest chance to, of course, come back, you know, make that trip back to the downtown lane. And there is nothing I can do. I just gotta watch and see this duck just, you know, poking in there and getting recovery, being generally scary. And I'm just going to go for Drain Punch because I need recovery. But I do realize that he's that amount of HP where he can stall me out. Uh, or recover stall me where the Toxic picks up. So, so I need a new idea. I need a better idea. I need to revive myself. I need to find something to, you know, scare out this Paragon too. And I, I got the glorious idea of bringing Plexus, the Mega Scissor. Because his only attack move so far has been, of course, the Try Attack. And besides that, showing me recovery and toxic so that means hopefully that I can set up Swordstance against this guy because Triatech is resisted after all 
And um, yeah, that was the main idea. That was really, really all I wanted. Now, I do decide to go for a bullet punch just to scout the damage. I want to get my feel for it, how much it does. Because now I know, right, that does a fair amount of damage. I could take this chance, of course, to set up. So now I have one sword band dance behind me. So I'm just gonna roost up, you know. I was really hoping that he would gonna escape here because, you know, if he lets me set up, then there is nothing stopping this scissor. There is just nothing that can stop the scissor. His Porygon can't defeat it, you know, nothing really. And if anything gonna happen, I was hoping for a freeze. That, that would have been, you know, probably his only plan here that could have worked, you know, would take back the game. So, if anything was gonna happen, Freeze was not one of them, and, um, <laughs> son of a bitch, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, he freezes me. I can't believe it. I really can't, and of course I'm not gonna fold out either, because why would I? But anyway, here's the Talon Flame, and I knew that from full HP, my Guard Chomp can actually take him out. Not by damage, but by, <laughs> when he Brave Birds, he's gonna take Recoil? And he's gonna take rough skin damage, he's gonna take rock helmet damage, that is easily over 50%. And if you pull a similar stunt, he's gonna die. He thought he came out on top of this. <laughs> no, no, sir. No, no. You did not come out on top of this. I took you down. Ah, uh, that was definitely worth it. I mean, it's one of those things that if I'm gonna pull a stunt like this, this is the way to go. And it's, of course, adjusted for a choice by the Talon Flame. So I was really satisfied with this, to be honest. So he's gonna bring out the Altaria, I bring out the Tornadus. Now, I was scared that he could potentially get the other chance here of Mega Evolving, and that would be really, really scary. But he's gonna take a chance of actually going for Wobbuffet. And I score crits. Mmm, nom nom nom, that was really, really good. And he's actually gonna pull that one back. I think I decided to go for a U-turn here, because I had nothing really for it. I was not gonna kill it, and Hurricane would just kill my tornado, so use more superior choice because it would not do a lot of damage to my team. Now I'm gonna bring Hoopa again. And the reason I did that was because I want the drain punch damage. I really just wanna force him down and you know forcing him to go for a round of recovery. And really now one could only hope that he went for a try attack there. That would have been just about right. But yeah I get a lot of HP back. I mean that's fair and to be expected. In at least here I was kinda Conflicted whether or not to bring Plexus, hoping for a fold out, try this round again. But he is actually switching out to his cell. And he's switching to the Wobbuffet. That's okay. You know why? Because I get this chance of, of course, trying to uh, <clears throat> escape my faith of, of course, being frozen. I can't believe it. Still, like, Scissor is the only thing here that's gonna save me the game. As long as he saves frozen, that is not gonna be the case. Now, <laughs> I'm from Tornadoes. And I'm um, hoping that he went for a U-turn, of course he did that. And he could have gone for an EQ, which I thought was also an honest chance that he could do. So I was thinking, you know what, screw it, he's going to do it anyway. So anyway, here we are. And I decided, alright, let's go for Hurricanes. I need to hurt this guy, I need to hurt him badly. Uh, yeah, I need to land two in a row to actually kill him. I do score crits here, which definitely doesn't matter. What's going to matter if is I miss, which I don't. And that took out the Porygon too. Thank the Lord for that fucking thing to be gone. So anyway, he's gonna of course bring the Demetros, of course, the Landris, and yeah, I already know that that's being a scarf, so I might as well take on a chance here of bringing Raiko, since I know he's not gonna go for an Earthquake. And there's a knockoff. That's okay. So anyway, I am basically, since the knockoff is, he's locked into that, I know I can take him out with Hidden Power Ice. So I took the only chance of actually switching out instead, because I knew it was going to bring the Wobbuffet, so I can bring Plexus back again. And of course get, you know, my pure, pure fought out eventually. I went for a sword dance, hoping for the best, and what do you know? He is coming back! He is fought out! He is here! He's... He's magic. I mean, wow. So he's going to Mega Ball, which I thought was really weird, considering he actually turned out to be a fairy once you do that. But... What do I care? Boom! Now, this, this is the power we've been longing for. We've been waiting so long for the fallout, out, and once it happened, it was GG. It was really, really scary until that point, because honestly, I had nothing for that Porygon, and without me actually be able to use Scissor, I needed to play around it, I needed to be a smarter player, and it actually worked, I can't believe it. So, yeah, I mean, 
I don't really know how to start this off. Um, you know, ending thoughts and all. I, I thought it was a really, really cool game because it is one of those few times where I had to really play good. I really had to make, you know, the better choices and throughout the game, you know, find a footing. Uh, it's something I really are forced to do um, because I had the Pokemons to, of course, make immense this battle. I had Keldeo, which I sadly sacked, and that was actually a really bad play. Uh, and of course, I had a sister, which would have just turned the battle for me no matter, I would not really have to worry about it. But uh, once that Pokemon froze, I had trouble. I really had so few responses left. And I needed to predict as much as I could and just try to find a footing. And I did good. Um, my opponent played a lot, of course, with defenses, you know, being able to wall me out. And I think that was his downfall. That due to him playing defensively, I got the chance to actually make a comeback and, you know, take every chance I got to actually come back to be an offensive. Because he had the ball. He could have made the tough recalls, but he did not decide to do it. He decided to play it safe. And he did that for too long, and I, of course, due to my risky plays, finally broke through. Of course, the crit with um, Tornadoes was good, even though I will insist on that it was still a 2-hit KO. I just needed to land a Hurricane, which is not, as you guys know, the most accurate move. Uh, but I needed to do those sacrifices, then actually forcing him to attack me. And if, you know, Tornadoes would have fallen there, I would just have brought Hoopa and go for the Hyper Spice Fury, really. So that was my only main idea, so Tornado's Living was actually not necessarily a good thing. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed this game really. And if you did, just so make sure to leave a like, of course. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then guys, remember, the sky is limit, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.